everybody and welcome back to Planetary TV. I'm your host today, Planetary, and welcome to part two of my holiday to Birmingham. Today is day three and we're going to this place called the Ball Rink. Yeah, I don't know really either. It's actually quite nice and warm today for England. <laughs> so yeah, I'll see you guys there. Let's go. And we have finally made it to the bull ring after that breakfast in Weatherspoon. So I'll just put the camera around now for you guys to have a look at it. So we are here on the second level looking upwards. This is on the first side of it as it also does go across the street. Also, one thing I was quite shocked about, Bershka. I thought that was in Spain. Guess not though. Yeah. Man, I would hate to fall down there. <laughs> Anyway, yeah, let's go have a look around then. Ladies and gentlemen, we've come inside the shop and I saw these two tops. I really like FNAF actually. I think if I was gonna get one, I'd get the Nightmare Animatronics just because I think that FNAF 4 is a nice... I, 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 I like this game a bit more than I like this one. Not because Five Nights 1 is bad or anything, just because I feel like this one looks better. <laughs> So guys, we were looking at these like um, CDs and stuff and I was looking for albums that I used to listen to and I found this one because I used to listen to Little Mix quite a bit and it's the full album. Say quid like, I was like, I, I can't buy it because I don't have a CD player or anything but it's cool that I found this in the midst of all this. Okay ladies and gentlemen, I'm buying the Five Nights 4 top, it's 24 quid and it's in my size. Oh gosh, I don't know what I'm doing with the camera but I'm going to buy this. Right, so ladies and gentlemen, I have just been to this shop called uh, Bubbleology, I think that's what it's called. And I got a purple taro milk with brown sugar boba just because it's my favourite flavour. And once I find a favourite flavour, I do not change my favourite flavour for at least a year. So uh, <laughs> if you ever see me go to a bubble tea shop, majority of the time it's going to be a purple taro milk. So, choking. <laughs> It's good. Yeah, it's really nice. Anyway, we're just going to walk around this food court bit now. Um, maybe go in some other shops and something. But <laughs> yeah, time to play the UK's favourite game show. Guess that obscene prize. Look at these lovely trainers. Guess the prize. 205 quid. What? Look, it's the Lego shop right next to the Rolex shop. Cheap, expensive, cheap, expensive. Which one are you going in? Because I know which one I am. Cool, the Avengers. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> it's Gringotts with the, um, what's it called, um, Mind Chef thing as well. It looks so cool. Oh my god. Oh, guys, we've just come across a cat cafe in England. Shocker. And this cat in the door reminds me of one of my cousin's cats. You are adorable. I don't think we're going to go in here though because it's a cat cafe and. Well, we want a pub, but hello, kitty, kitty. Hello. Oh, it's so pretty. Right, so anyway, guys, now go. we're going to go and see this bull. And this is why it's called the bull ring, because there's a giant bull inside the ring. Yeah, it, yeah it, it's very, yeah, it'll be cool, I promise. Yeah. So, ladies and gentlemen, I've put on the um, FNAF top. So, yay. Also, we've just had tea, but it wasn't that mind blowing. It's weather spoons. So now we're going to get the train home. Yeah! Good morning and welcome to day three, everybody, of my trip to Birmingham. So today, because yesterday was full on, like very full on. <laughs> Yes, I, yesterday was actually dead far. I think we're going to go to the ball ring again at some point, but today we're having a bit more of a chilly day. We're going to go to the farm that's a bit across from us. It's actually warmed up quite a bit today. Oh gosh, there's a car coming. I say as it is freezing cold. So yeah, that's what we're going to do today. Yeah. <laughs> And gentlemen, we have now come to this little town called Redditch and shock horror, I bet you couldn't guess where we're going. Weather Spoons part three. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we have just come to the Kingfisher um, shopping centre and we're gonna look at shops now because why not? Yeah. <laughs> Hello and 
um, nearly good morning everyone. Today is day four and um, today we're at this place called the, my hair's in the face, my, this place called the Black Country Museum and it is freezing cold and raining and majority of this experience is outside. Right, you love England, don't you? Anyway, I'll show you when we get Hey, ladies and gentlemen, we have just been told to get on this random bus. Um, it's like one of those old fashioned buses. I got a ticket for it. Oh gosh, I'm dropping this stuff. This is what it looks like. Fun. This is the bus that we have just rode to the St. James School. So, this is a completely like rebuilt old English town. And uh, yeah. Well, once you pay to get in, by the way, yeah, free entry for the rest of the year. So that's cool, very, very cool. This is like an old fashioned stable and there's an actual like live horse over there. It's also incredibly muddy and slippery. So careful, but let's see. Caution, horses may bite. I highly doubt. Dear, oh my God, it's so cute. Oh my God, it's an actual like, live horse. Hello. Hello, you're gonna be on YouTube. Gorgeous. Also, I find it's quite funny is this is an old English town, but yet I can still get 4G Wi-Fi. Anyway, yeah, so there's just like a whole recreation here. Loads so of over here is like a canal area with boats, and you can actually go through all these things, which is cool. I'm not going to do it because claustrophobia exists. But cool. Very cool. Very, so we've just been inside this building here, which is a blacksmith's, and we got to see one of their earliest versions of a mousetrap. I'm just saying, I don't remember what it was called because it was very quiet and um, I was more shocked at how painful it is because you got a stick and you just saw the indents in the stick and it was like, Google it. <laughs> I won't give you the name, I'll just tell you it was like, like a bear, it looked like a bear trap, but small. Anyway, now we're going to look at the little town. <laughs> Actual like working recreation of bakery, and then over yeah, there is an actual recreation of a working sweet shop. Just as crowded as ever, though. And Shakara, they both are card readers. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the pub. This is probably the warmest room we've been in as of far, and the bar is actually open. So it's so incredibly busy because there's like six schools here. <laughs> Remember, when I said my school breaks up a week late. Look out the window, you'll see one of these six schools right here. Ah, oh, what a lovely... Well, who wanted to go on a boat ride? Not me. Well, we must have got to a new time in history. There's a fair now. Probably still scam ya. But yeah, there's also a working restaurant. I believe that is it right now, but it is closed. Because it's 12 o'clock and stuff didn't open till. I don't know. I did take history, but we didn't really study, you know, English towns. It was more, who's shot cholera? Jon Snow, if you were wondering. I did actually say that to one of the actors and they were like, uh, correct. <laughs> anyway, let's go take a few steps back in time, back to the old town where women still got paid six cents. Here we go. Oh, look, a car. So, cool. ladies and gents, you're now looking at your Xbox, Playstations and TV shop of the 20th century. Or in other words, you're just looking at where Alistair lives if you're a fan of house films, so. There we go. Cool. Ladies and gentlemen. So you know how I said they have card readers here? Well, every place requires a card reader. And I think there's been a problem with their servers or whatever they use for card readers, because not one of them is working. It's, it's cash only now. All the cash I have is like £4.50, which means I could get the soup of the day. Yes! It's £4.50. I feel so bad for all the staff having to tell people it's cash only and there's no cash machines here. It's old England. I don't get to witness a Karen though. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, let's go inside the Workers' Institute. Yeah. So guys, we've just looked around a little fair thing. It looks pretty good. £2.50 for one token and every ride costs more than one token. So you're looking at at least four quid for a ride. Not all the rides are open as well, like the ghost train's shut. 
Oh, the little kiddie rides a shot. You want to take five shots on a shooting game? Are you going to be set back around 15 quid? Yeah. And the fun thing, the card machines are still broken. Good thing we can come back at any other point in the year. So yeah, we're just going to walk around now. Oh, look, another school. Yeah, we did go inside like the thingy, which I said, the workers industry. It's uh, Card machines also broken there. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty sure we're nearing the end of this video now as well, so I'm probably going to wrap this up soon. Well, now we fast forwarded in time to the first televisions, and Vox is probably very happy right now. I'm going to stop making these references because probably majority of the people here won't get them, so yeah. Anyway, ladies and gents, I have unfortunately run out of time, and yet there is still so much to show you, so I'm going to be cruel, not because I want to be, just because I have to be, and make you go to part three to see the rest of the... Black Country Museum. My apologies. So until next time, my stars, stay starsome. Goodbye.